Hello everyone and thank you so much for coming by the channel. I really appreciate it. My name is Susan. This channel is Road Reads and as you can see by the title of this video, my sister-in-laws made me read it. So I have two books to share with you that I've just read in the last three days um, because two of my sister-in-laws uh, uh, recommended a book each to me and I took them up on that and uh, thoroughly enjoyed reading them both. But quite different experiences. So um, as some of you may know, I am in California right now at my brother's house and um, watching um, my 13 and 12 year old niece and nephew. So way different than watching my, the, my newborn twin nephews. <laughs> so uh, the, 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 the 12 and 13 year old are very low maintenance and I have had a ton of time to read. So I've read these two books in the last three days. Uh, sorry, my I'm recording on my phone, which I don't do at home, and it's precariously positioned. So if, if the view just changed, that's why. But anyway, so I've finished these two books, and I thought I'd tell you guys about them. So the first one um, is The Last Mrs. Parish. So when I got to California, my sister-in-law, she wasn't done with it yet, but she was in it. She was really enjoying it. It's a Reese Witherspoon book club pick, which can go either way with me. And I got to say, I really enjoyed it. I gave it two plus stars, but like on any given day, it could have been a three. I mean, I pretty much read it for eight hours straight um, while the kids were in school. And then like when they came home and they were doing their homework and stuff, I was still reading. So um, a book that keeps your attention for eight hours straight. I mean, that's saying something. Uh, the Last Mrs. Parrish. So, um, there's two women and one, and one guy and, um, there's Mrs. Parrish who is gorgeous and sweet and kind hearted and, uh, a girl named Amber who's about 10 years her junior who basically wants to become the next Mrs. Parrish and, uh, Amber's all sorts of bad and, um, <laughs> the, the, the book is somewhat formulaic. I did I did think I, kn I knew where it was going to go, but I got to say, I mean, I still, obviously, I read it for almost eight hours straight. I really enjoyed it. Um, it, it is, um, while it's formulaic, it was really enjoyable. I think this is what is considered a beach read. Um, you, it doesn't take a lot of brain cells. It's not going to make your top 10 list of the year, but it's, it was fun. It was fun. The writing wasn't, you know how sometimes with um, like these kind of mystery thrillers, like the writing will be so bad it like gets in the way, like you can't even enjoy it because you're like, uh-uh. No, the writing was fine. Um, it's a sister team who writes it and their pen name is Liv Constantine. I think that's pretty cool. You guys probably already know all this, right? <laughs> Have you read this? Let me know in the comments. Um, or let me know, are you a fan of the Reese Witherspoon book club? Because there was a time, I think it was before I got on booktube, that I really kind of followed her books and I haven't been lately. Maybe I should get back to doing that. I just haven't been reading a lot of new releases lately. But speaking of new releases, I sure did read a great one. Okay, so... Yes, I'm in California right now, but to get to California, I first drove to my brother's house in Northern Kentucky because that's where the Cincinnati airport is. And I stayed at his house for a couple of days. And my other sister-in-law recommended the Great Sir, or not the Great Circle. I keep wanting to say the, it's just Great Circle. And I'm so glad she recommended this because honestly, I mean, I've seen this around, of course. It's, um, it was a Booker Prize finalist, and um, it's on the long list for um, the Women's Prize for Fiction this year. And I got to say, okay, so I haven't read the other books on the long list for the Women's Prize. I think I've just read this one. But this one was, it was magnificent. I gave it four plus stars. I, I really probably, in like a week, <laughs> I'm going to be upping it to five. Um, it was so good. It was epic. The writing was gorgeous. I loved her writing. If you don't like elaborate writing, you may not like this book. Um, <laughs> like some people find it pretentious. I don't. I, I love elaborate writing. Um, it, it, it had a feeling of of another time. And speaking of time, it is a dual timeline um, book, which, you know, can go either way with me. But um, 
the older timeline, we're in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, um, uh, a, a twin brother and sister, they're orphaned, you know, when they're just babies and raised by their uncle out in Montana, kind of become wild children. The uncle is, you know, he loves them in his own way, but he's very hands-off and, and um, they develop a friendship with another boy in the, in the area, um, Caleb. And anyway, the, the sister of the twins is really what I would consider, although there are many characters in this book, she's definitely the main character of her timeline. I, I think she's the main character of the book. Uh, her name's Marion Graves. And from an early age, she knows she wants to fly. She wants to be a pilot. And uh, she makes it happen, although there there's a heavy price to pay, and you'll see that. Her brother, Jamie, um, is a soft soul. And... Um, and he becomes an artist. So we'll also follow his life. And and Caleb will weave in and out of their lives through the years. And then the other timeline is present day. Our main character in that timeline, oh my gosh, I've already forgot her name, Hadley. <laughs> Hadley is an actress and she's troubled. She, she's been a child star and you know how that can go for a lot of them. And um, she also was orphaned at a young age and raised by an uncle who, you know, again, while loving her in his own way, he was very hands-off and maybe not the best influence and, you know, um, out there in LA and, um, and, uh, so she's going to play Marion in a movie about Marion's life because, um, Marion goes to, um, to live a very interesting life. Um, she is going to attempt something epic with her airplane. Anyway, so Hadley is gonna play her in a movie. There's a lot in this book. The, see, that description, which is what I heard other people say, it just didn't appeal to me. So it might not be appealing to you, but I can't, I really, I can't not recommend this. <laughs> Again, if you don't like, if you don't like the fancy writing, the elaborate writing, you're not going to like this. But wow, if you love a plot driven book with wonderful writing, I mean, I, what I did was I finished reading this on Tuesday, I think, like I read it straight for eight hours. And then I started this and read it for like an hour that first night, read more the next day, and then I finished it on the third day. And this is a 650-page book. So again, since my niece and nephew are so low maintenance, <laughs> um, I've been doing a lot of reading. But uh, yeah, I, um, I'll be real surprised if this does not make the short list for the Women's Prize. Again, I'm saying that without having read uh, the other books, but it, it's just that good. And, um, so yeah, I mean, I read two, uh, well, I don't know when this one came out. This might be a few years old, but this is a new release. So again, I haven't read a lot of those lately. So that was fun. So thank you, sister in laws. I really appreciated your book recommendations. You did me right. I mean, it seems only right and fitting because I'm always there telling people what I think they should read. So this time they told me what to read and they were right. I really enjoyed both of these. And now I don't have anything to read. I'm in California for three more days. Uh, three more days? Yeah. And um, I'm thinking of going, I don't know, it's like 9.30 in the morning. I'm thinking of going to Barnes & Noble and hang out there for a couple of hours and maybe pick up another book. I have my Kindle with me, but I go through phases. Uh, do you guys do this with your Kindle? Like, as you know, I've been in almost an exclusive Kindle-only mode <laughs> lately or audiobooks. Um, but after reading both of these in paper, I was really enjoying that. And so maybe I'll pick up another paper book today. We'll see. I'll, I'll, um, I'll let you guys know if I do. But anyway, um, have you read The Great Circle or The Last Mrs. Parish? Or do you have a book recommendation that you can like leave me in the comments in the next hour? Because <laughs> I'm going to head out soon to Barnes & Noble. That would be awesome. And um, yeah, it's fun talking to you guys again. I have other books to talk to you about, including The Goldfinch. I got a lot to say about that, but I'll do that once I'm back in uh, at home in Tennessee. That's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.